All right. Good evening, guys. Kenneth Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for June 6, 2024. Uh, Joe, I saw your email. I'll, I'll, I'm going to respond to that a little bit later. I will also publish the reports uh, in a few minutes after this session. Um, just the uh, Windows just helped me by updating my system, and it was getting hung up on the print. I have to reinstall my printer. All right, so uh, let's start with the sniper trade of the day. This one is uh, EWW, three minutes. Here was yesterday's close. This blue box is the opening range three. It breaks out above that, so we get long. There's my standard... Uh, R10 risk box on a three minutes. It's like 15 cents. Get a move in our favor. Take the piece R exit for three R. Crosses the piece R. I take a cot of two. It's recovered. It's above the VWAP standard risk. Take a half an hour win. Uh, I take the next cot of two. It held support at the VWAP. That one scratches. It breaks down below the VWAP without making a new high, so I get short. Standard risk. Collect one R. Then I re-enter the collapsing dragon and then stumble into four R in the last half an hour surprising me to no end so they all look the same leaving the leaving the uh station this was three this was one this was 0.5 this was one and that was four pretty good day at work uh this one is dia and I'm working the 10 minute on this one. Uh, here was yesterday's uh, close. Um, this was the opening range uh, 10. Uh, it started re as it was running up this way. That was my standard r5 risk box that's like a dollar on dia and moving off the bottom that much i just speculated in and uh and took it uh it ran all the way up here and then gave me one, two, three, uh, three lower highs. And when it broke below the the lows or the broke below the close here, I just took that one and that returned about 0.5 compared to the full 1.0 risk box. So almost like a shooting star. Check or hold. It f continued to fail this time. Uh, here was the next bar. It opened, and now it broke below the VWAP. It's in the river. It's failing right at the same level that it was gaining before, so that feels like a, that whole move invalid anymore. So I get short here. I'm playing for a move back to yesterday's close in the Bollinger Band main. So I get short. There's my standard risk box. It starts recovering. It basically gets down to the uh, to that rising Bollinger Band main and it finds support 
each and every time, and now it makes a higher low, and there's a little doji. It opens, and when it takes the doji out and hits the skin of the dragon, that's enough. And I capture this little piece. I gave back all of that. So that's about 0.3. It now is failing. You know, the rising prices hit the the VWAP and then started to fail with lower highs and lower lows. So when it breaks below the rising Bollinger Band main, I get short again. And I put the standard risk box on it, check or hold. If it breaks below the low of the day, then I know this is going to be big or has a chance to be big. Does nothing, so I scratch, check or hold. I missed the harsh sell off but I was able to get the move off the bottom. Like uh, I missed that move, but now it recovers and opens. And as it crosses the bottom skin of the dragon, I just speculate in thinking that I may get a move back to the Bollinger band main and the PSR. And if it gets beyond here, it could be good. So I speculate in right here with a wrist box of the same normal size. It moves up to where the previous, you know, PSAR dots were, where my target was. And then it just rolls over and goes sideways. And now we're near the end of the day. So I just exit. And on this much risk, I capture that much gain, which is about a 0.8. So if I take uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0, and 0 0.8, that gives me about 1.5 for the day. And that's about all there was on DIA. Check or hold. Let's take a look at the traders today. Uh, this is Constantine. And he's working, let's see, which one was this? Is this gold? Uh, yeah, this is gold on three minutes. It's right in his wheelhouse. He notices the, the low, higher low. So he plays this as a kata two. And he puts his wrist box on to the bottom of the PSAR where the PSAR flips. So that's his wrist box. When it breaks above the peak of the RL10, he knows he's got, so it chops around. And when it breaks north of that, look how this price responds to the breakthrough of previous resistance. Instead of being choppy anymore, it explodes. And he takes a profit target uh, near the current high on the Globex. And he brings in 4.3R. Check or hold. All right, this is, um, this is Kevin. And he's working on EWW on the 10-minute. 
This was yesterday's close, continues its breakout. He puts a standard risk on it. Triggers here, but gets filled there for 1.4 R. Gets a, a little slow on the Cotter 2 rebound. Like we'd like to be in right about here or here, but he gets this. It fails immediately. He takes that and he nets 0. 0.8. So 1.4 and minus 0. 0.6 nets 0. 0.8 for the day on that one. Uh, he brings in 0. 0.3 on DIA. This is on the 10 minute. Again, there wasn't much in that one. He gets the breakout here above the emerging dragon. It runs up. I think this was a little slow getting out. I got out somewhere around in here. Uh, he triggers it here, but got, gets filled there, but still brings in 0.3. Uh, on this bar right here, when you have a lower high, that is going to look like a um, dragon horns. So when this opens here and starts to sell off again, I think you can pull the trigger there. Here's Brian on uh, the Euro Aussie on five minutes. Um, very orderly 0.9 stays out of the chop. Doesn't get that one. So 0.9 on trade 53. On uh, the gold dollar pair, also in five minutes, a scratch and a scratch for the day. And he's still on 20 trades. He's netted 13 R and uh, that seems acceptable. Uh, Hamad gets chopped up for minus 0. 0.7 in DIA. There wasn't much room in there. On EWW, he gets 0. 0.1, is able to uh, squeeze out a fraction. That move in the afternoon, he must... Must not be sticking around for that because in the afternoon was that big collapse and it may be outside of his time window. Uh, EWZ uh, gets scratched around here for minus 0. 0.4. This is Jonathan on uh, EWW, his focus stock. And uh, he gets paid, scratches, scratches, micro loss, plays the collapsing dragon just like he's supposed to, and lucks into 7.2 for a 7.3 for the day. Sometimes good things happen to bad people. Uh, Satya is able to get, um, this one was kind of interesting because He's able to get 4.2 out of EWW. One, two, quick scratch, and gets paid without getting the uh, the big move. You know, he had he went out for a walk for his health, so that's that's something. Uh, George uh, skipped re not still not sure about the rules. It's the universal entry. If I get long here. And it goes up, and then it rolls over, and then maybe I get out right here. And then it opens in here, and it stays above this. This is a universal entry. Just re-enter right there and then put your stop, put your execution stop right there. And then there's your risk box for execution. Now your position sizing box might've been wider, like it might've been down to here, 
but you're going to execute right here. So that would cap your loss to a minus 0. 0.5. That's all it is. Universal entry. And that would give you um, this re-entry right here. And then you'd probably get out here in order to keep in order to keep that much on probably that much risk. So that's probably a 0. 0.5. And then when you got these rising lows, you can take this one. Crosses the dragon, the RL90 has rolled up, or 30 has rolled up. That's a Kata 2, and you're above the VWAP. We should be able to get this trade all day. And on this big bar here, and it starts rolling over, keep half of the bar. Don't make it harder than it is. And then you get that trade right there. <clears throat> Still, I like 0.8. And I like 1.3. Now, notice you don't get a re-entry on this because it never violated this. So you can't re-enter. It doesn't violate. This bar here cannot re-enter because it hasn't broken through that. Then you put a limit on that one. Can I re-enter in here? No, it didn't break out higher. By this time, and it crosses the zero line here at the VWAP, you could be short right there. And then take that exit. Get that trade. Uh, I'll get the reports pushed to you. Now, I just went through, since I work from home on Thursdays, I just went through the last two years of sniper trades of the day, and there is 1,020 individual trades that are all marked up. And it's in a very large PDF file. And I'm going to send it to you guys that are in the coaching program. Uh, and other folks in the sound of my voice, if you're not in the coaching program, uh, you can have it for 49 bucks. It's about 500 megs, but again, it's over a thousand annotated sniper trades showing all the trades that we've been doing every night. So if you wanted to do this, I mean, you could go back through and individually make it, but it's probably... Save you some time. I'll put a link in uh, Patreon. All right, fellas, that's everything we got for tonight. I'll shoot you the uh, reports here shortly.